analyzed, calibrated, was like, could they be transgender? This is, this is analyzed. Maybe facial structure looks maybe a little bit. Maybe maybe they're in transition. I don't know. It's black hoodie. I'm back cooking these goodies. Look at these views from cooking these foods. Yeah. y'all back with what i definitely consider to be a banger today we are giving a shout out to the shy that's chicago shy city uh we are repping for their famous hot dog this is how they do it in chicago i know i'm missing a couple ingredients and wow i'm so mad at myself right now you guys i did a couple of things a little differently but this is my rendition given what i had to work with so they are looking so incredibly amazing very like cartoon if i will say and like super food stylist esque like very magazine so i can't wait to sink my teeth into one of these guys of course and i'm gonna tell you a little funny tale of something that happened to me when i was out christmas shopping yesterday with my mom before we do anything more we must pour today we have the good ice just that regular crushed kind of from the gas station ice and we have an A&W root beer heavy fizz hope you guys are enjoying those cooking segments I'm trying to bring it my best in 2020 when I have the opportunity to do a nice cooking segment video I'm gonna take full advantage I'm not gonna say I've been being lazy at all with it it's just that it's a matter of situations pretty much for me when I can really crush one or not but I'm gonna try my best to always be pushing myself to be bringing those cooking intros you know explaining things and showing it in good aesthetic detail so we must have a sip
Oh yeah, the root beer is slowly creeping in on, on, a, on a favorite level. So I did a poll on the community tab and it seems like you guys like me to just eat and chat. That's what the numbers said. So that's what I'm gonna do on this video. Let's get into a bite. That's really where I think we have to go. But first we do a close up. You see that neon relish? Without further ado, we gotta do it. Where's the grill going? Mm -hmm. Very interesting. Quite the crazy flavor combo. Sweetness of relish. Got the tang of the pickle. Kind of acidity sweet from tomato. The hot pepper. That mustard cut. And then of course, just that beefy hot dog taste. I use all beef wieners. That's my favorite style of wiener. I don't really like a blend. I don't, pork's okay, but for me, if I'm gonna have a dog, I usually want an all beef, if I'm being completely transparent. So from what I saw, um, normally they wouldn't toast the bun. Now for me, when it comes to eating a hot dog, I need my bun toasted. I just love the addition of a toasted bun. I love the way it plays off the wiener so much. Uh, additionally to that, I think it's supposed to have seasoning salt. I didn't have any. The bun is supposed to have poppy seeds as well. Again, didn't have access to that. And I think the peppers are supposed to be like these more like fingerling, I don't know the name of them, but they're just supposed to be different. So the pepperoncinis work though. It's all the same kind of flavor profiles. Anyhow, that's just looking too beautiful. You know what I mean? Like how, how picturesque, cartoon-esque does that look? Crazy, right? Okay, one more bite. And then I'll tell you guys the story of what happened to me when I was out shopping today. Mm. Tell me that's not it. So I went Christmas shopping today with my mom to get my sisters some Christmas presents. There's a store called Chapters. It's a bookstore. I don't know if you guys have ever seen, been to one, but I think it's pretty common. So my sister's a big reader. She's a bookworm. She's actually like a speed reader. She's crazy with the shit. And she wanted a few books. But she gave me like a little list and then I get to pick which one she gets essentially out of all the ones that she wanted. So we walk in, I have no idea where any of these books are gonna be, just not a clue. So I'm definitely gonna need help from like a sales associate team member, someone to help me, like guide me in the right direction. And uh, I, I round this bookshelf and I see a guy standing at like the terminal where they would 
search books and try to find like if they have it and where it would be da, 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 like like a little spot to to check everything out and he's standing there and he's an employee like he's got the outfit on and all that oh my god <clears throat> it's so seinfeld and so me of course it would happen to me so I look at him and he looks very much manly. He has facial hair, you know, dark hair. He's got like a manly uh, build, stature, everything. His name tag says Jake. So I roll up to him and I'm like, excuse me, sir. And he responds. And as soon as he opens his mouth, he's got like the most flamboyantly gay way of talking. And he's like, oh, yes, how can I help you? Like very like that. And like... You know how your mind, your brain is like, it's crazy how, how quick the brain can work. Like my brain, like analyzed, calibrated was like, could they be transgender? Analyze maybe facial structure looks maybe a little bit, maybe, maybe they're in transition. I don't know. It's 2019. It's almost 2020. Like in this day and age, I don't know how to like respond to this. I, my shit overloads. And I, the next thing I pour out is. Or, or madam <laughs> and in the moment when or madam rolls out i know i'm like oh my god i just made that so much worse than it had to be so now i'm like awkwardly in this mid phase of like you're clearly a dude but you look you're sounding very gay and feminine i'm tripping because in this day and age we're not allowed to like do anything wrong in terms of like gender and all that stuff so i was like in my head, I'm like, am I supposed to use they, them? What pronoun are they going by? Da, 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 da. And he just responds with, oh, no, it's sir. It's definitely sir. <laughs> so he was like mildly offended, I feel like, but not to the point where, you know, it was crazy. Like I didn't mean for any, anything by it. Right. And uh, so I like roll and tuck in beside him. And we both know like there's just like this awkward energy. And uh I'm trying to brush it off and just like play it cool. And he's like, so what are we looking up? What do we need help with here? And so I have this list of books and the list of books is like five books long. Right. So I have to like spend a little time with this guy and, uh, He's helping me search them out. We type in the first book. First book pops up. He goes, he looks, he's like, okay, so we have 19 copies. So we do have it. You're in luck. And he's like, let me just see area of the store that's going to be in and like in the program it says if it's going to be like fiction non-fiction biography etc 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 i kid you not i shit you not the book was in the section of gender <laughs> so he's he looks at me dead in the eye he turns to me he's like that's going to be over in the gender section which is just right over there and just with the interaction the exchange we just had the first book he looks up is in a gender section. I was dying inside. 
in my head the whole time. I'm like, I cannot wait to tell the people on YouTube about this experience. So hilarious to me. I was dying. I was dying. I got home. I told my sisters. It was so stand up comedy, but even funnier out of all that is that when we continued to look up the rest of the books, every single other book was like in a, in like nonfiction, fiction, biography, shit like that. So just like in the universal sense of the situation, that book, the first one we look up right after that, just with that punchline of gender section, just had me going. It was way too much. I also, while I was there, caught a visual of a girl that I used to know like so long ago, like she was working there. And this isn't a girl that I've ever had like relations with or anything. It just, I knew her back from back in the day and stuff. And do you ever just find yourself in those scenarios where you're just not in the mood to have that like small talk, that catch up chat? Oh my God, I haven't seen you in like 10 years. What are you doing? What are you up to? We should totally like catch a drink sometime, even though you both know you're never going to catch a drink. I just like to avoid those. So I was in there with like my hoods up, ducking and dodging. There's this long ass line that I had to wait in to buy the books, which I was all paranoid. I was going to get scoped out. What do you have to? Well, I eat on the internet. <laughs> You can check me out if you like. <laughs> What's your YouTube name? Uh, Black Hoodie? Hmm, that sounds so thug. smashed but that's because I'm like 23 hours fasted so I also did the calculations for these calorie wise and it comes to roughly 1500 give or take so that's uh with within my eating plan right now I'm trying to keep it 1500 one meal a day and in my fasted window and I also do an hour of cardio and lift a little bit of weights so I'm out here keeping myself in check don't you worry about me get my nutrients supplements and things like that so I play this game smart you guys just know this till the next one you know what to do eat good live well stay true